ただきます。<笑><笑>どうぞ。ウィスパーだな。ウィスパー !Hi guys, you're tuning in to BBZ Reviews where three vastly different individuals with varying technical backgrounds come together to share their thoughts on movies, films, and everything in between. Hi guys, welcome back to BBZ. たちゃはお Selamat datang. Konnichiwa. So, BBZ Review stands for. Boomer One, Boomer <laughs> Two. What do you mean? Zoomer! Okay, okay. and today、yeah. we'll be reviewing a special movie, film,、mm. um, recommended by Salihin. Boomer One or Salihin.、Mm-hmm. Boomer One. <laughs> yeah, so what is it? Okay, today is. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I am Shannon. Zoomer, one and only. <laughs>、yes. I'm sure not many people are actually asking. Okay, anyway. Yeah, this is Kaz. <laughs> ah,、yeah. yes, Kaz, a lot of people. Okay,、ask. please go ahead. <laughs> so, today's movie is The Irishman, or、mm. to be correctly、uh, pronouncing, it's The Irishman.、Mm-hmm. Mm. And you guys watched it. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Uh, it's my favorite movie genre, which is mafia. Gangster epic drama thingies.、Mm-hmm. How do you like it? Of course, I, I liked it. That's、mm. why I, I propose it. But、mm. what's your take on it?、Mm, I would say, first impressions, three hours, 30 minutes was a、Whoa. no go for me when I first <laughs>、yes. saw it. <clears throat>、yes. But ironically, it was the pace. I like the pace a lot. Oh, so、mm. you don't find it draggy? Yeah, I don't find、mm. it draggy because. You don't have it. Right.、Yeah. They jump around a lot, and that's、mm. very interesting thing、ah, about、okay. this. Okay, yeah. The moving forward yeah. Yeah. and backwards. Okay.、Yeah. Mm. okay. What about Kaz?、Uh, for me, I was、um, waiting for it when the Netflix announced that it's going to be coming out.、Mm. Then,、mm. then I think I watched it on the day of the release itself.、Whoa. Yeah. And、uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Are you a fan of that genre first before、yes. you、mm. watch it? So you、yeah. are a fan? Yeah. So, so okay. Far, the, you know, yeah. So、uh, a lot of those who like the genre、mm-hmm. wouldn't mind. The duration,、mm-hmm. the three hours thirty, right? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. But I have, I heard somebody, oh, it's too long for a、mm-hmm. movie. Probably just because they don't, they can't really appreciate the genre to begin with. Yeah, I、right? would say、but、it's for her case.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You're, it's I not mean, really. I'm assuming the... only, but you're not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The genre. I don't <laughs> know if there's the other series, the Tom, Thomas Shelby one. Ah. What、uh, was it called? Picky Blinders. Yeah, I tried. I really wasn't a fan, but、really? people love it. Is it、oh. mafia genre or so? It in a sense. It's similar, it's, right? It is gangster, gangster, but gangster? not mafia. Yeah,、mm. I really couldn't.、That's、so one of my favorite series. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see, yeah, it's a trend, lah, <laughs> right? It's a, it's a trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not surprisingly, this is the longest movie made by Scorsese, the director,、mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. accomplished、uh, director, especially in this genre. He's well known for this.、Mm-hmm. N- not only is it the longest for him, it's also the most expensive for him to produce or、mm. to make. Guess how much the the, the budget is it below、no. or below above Top Gun? Top Gun? You, you guys, you'll be, you be, you be surprised. It is、oh, rumored to be about the same or even more、oh. than、mm. Top Gun. Right. That's surprising. Yes. Right.、Yeah. Although it is also as surprising as Top. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, it's gonna come back、stop. forever. It's gonna、stop. come back forever. Yeah. Yeah, because if you look at Top Gun,、mm. and people say, "Ah,、oh, 170 million," you probably can guess where the yeah, money goes yeah, into, yeah. right? It's not cheap. Explosion. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Big base. But when you look at Irishman,、yeah. you're wondering where the money goes to because there's、mm. not much effects in it,、mm. right? Except for one, right? Yes,、yeah. the main thing, Aging. right? The 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 most popular de aging、yeah, de aging spoiler alert、yeah. <laughs> at this point don't you really like yeah lah you guys deserve it lah you haven't watched it yet it's so long already right yeah, the yeah. Irishman it won few few awards as well、mm. but yeah、uh, we we talk more about the about the de aging technology that、mm. they used and、mm. why it was used、mm. and, and stuff like that but after watching it do you have that sense or do you actually want to know whether This story is a true story or not? Because it touches on a few historical yeah, yeah. Like Hoffa, points. Yeah, right. Assassination. Hoffa、oh, is missing in action. Yeah, yeah. Hoffa. Yeah. The and then the other one、yeah. was a、uh, JFK right, assassination. Yeah, the assassination. And then、yeah. the Cuba、uh, mm. missile. Oh yes. Right. Yes. So Castro. Castro. Yeah, Castro thing. Right.、Yeah. So in that movie, apparently, 
there were uh, the reasons or they know the answers to mm, mm. who did it, what happened kind of thing to all mm. those three major mm. uh, uh, things, right? So after watching it, do you feel that, oh, yeah, it's true, this is what happened? Or do you feel like, mm, maybe fiction, non-fiction kind of thing? I think it was more of like, um, because it's so loaded with so much context, right? Mm. That I wanted to research more on it after to, right. to gain a better understanding of the direction of the film. So what yeah. you what you find out? Well, I found out that um, well, he I yeah I found out that he, it was a real person, the Hoffman yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, oh, that, that that to begin with, huh? Okay, Jimmy got Hoffa. It, got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, That's that he one. was actually it's really very <laughs> small because. I didn't know. Yeah. I don't know I mean, anything about the mafia. I mean, it is not part of mafia. our history. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, Jimmy Hoffa is a very famous character. And, and that his yeah. case is still unsolved until now. Yeah. And yeah. that's why it's entirely based on this, right? Like, different threats and different conspiracies of how he actually... Mm. Yeah, mm. what happened to him. And yeah. it is an adaptation from, from the book, book right? right? And I love the title. The I title love is, it. I, I wonder why they changed the name. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why? They did. What did they change to? Irish Man. Like the book also? No, the no. book. Oh, the is, film. Yeah, the book is. Yeah. I heard you paint houses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't paint. I love how euphemistic it is. Yeah, really, I, really. I, I heard you paint houses and I made the carpentry too or something, right? The <laughs> Wait, the carpentry <laughs> one, I couldn't get the reference. Like, what is it? Okay, the carpentry is. Like weapons? No, they, they, they do. They clear up. They clear up the body after they, mm. they, they paint the house. But that, I don't get it. Like, how is that related to carpentry? Well, that's that's why you paint supposed houses. To be. You paint it with blood, right? But the funny mm-hmm. thing is, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this this book is based on Sheeran, right? Mm-hmm. Frank Sheeran. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, no relation to Ed Sheeran, but <laughs> so this book was written by a journalist, and then apparently it was an interview done with this guy mm-hmm. in the later part of his life. He's about mm-hmm. to die and something. Mm-hmm. He's in just the like the home. opening of the movie, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Then he was talking, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. apparently it's based on one interview he did with this guy. Mm-hmm. Yep, came yep, out yep. a book mm. and then it kind of like solves a lot of mysteries, right? Mm. Jimmy Hoffa, JFK, yep. blah, blah. So a lot of people actually say BS on this. It's on not this true. this film. Yeah, yeah. 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 What, yeah. Uh, what Frank Sheeran says is not true. Mm. Because there's no way for them to to actually say it's I mean, true or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they did it based on the interview but it, they never claimed it to be historically accurate, right? Well, it is based on this guy's life so it has to be correct if, Shiren, if you, yeah Shiren, frank, frank frank so frank says i did this i did that i did uh-huh. this i killed x number of people mm. right i killed jimmy yep, hoffa yep. Mm. and i heard uh the the mafia killed jfk blah, mm. blah 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 so so the people that were investigating all these things like they spent years and years and years on this said they called bs on him mm. yes. yeah that's what i saw there's too. no way they said we yep. do not here of Frank Sheeran. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. I mean, they know like, he exists. Just like I, uh, my, uh, another film that I kind of like uh, by Oliver Stone, mm-hmm. uh, JFK. Yep. Mm-hmm. That is uh, by the book of the, pros- uh, by the book by the prosecutor. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And still, people are saying like, oh, that's not true. I mean, he didn't win the case anyways. You know, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But that depends on what sort of genre, right? That one is actually mm. non-fiction, right? Yes, but this but one, this is... you interviewed non-fiction. Yeah, so, yeah. but then they, so... do they, was it ever termed as autobiographical? Yes, it is considered as non-fiction. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, the, 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 the interesting part of it is that actually, uh, De Niro and Scorsese, right? Mm. They're, they're always wanting to do a film together mm. again mm-hmm. for the longest time. Yep, mm. yep. They decided to do a, a similar genre of film, right? And for that uh, part, part of his research, De Niro read this book, mm. picked up this book, ah. I Heard You Paint Houses. Mm. He was so into it mm. that he told Scorsese, hey, we got to do this movie instead, mm. instead of the other book, right, which okay, they've okay. been... Uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, researching and developing the story, mm. and then it was like take years and years, you know, find funding and all those mm, kind of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. In the end, De Niro was researching on his character, mm. read th- about this book, mm-hmm. and then told Scorsese, "You got to do this book instead." Mm. Mm. So it is. It is. I don't know whether you know it's, it's better or not, but mm. it is. What 
<laughs> it is what <laughs> it, it is. is, what it is right? Right? <laughs> you spoil your own punchline. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, like, like uh, Joe Pesci said. So we're talking about how uh, expensive the movie was earlier mm-hmm. on, and mm-hmm. then we touch on the aging mm. technology that Briefly. they use, yeah. right? What, what what do you think, Cas? You being the technical person, but not the visual though. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but still, I, I I was very impressed. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, except for one scene, mm-hmm. one important scene, when Peggy was uh uh, uh at the pharmacy, not pharmacy, but the you know, like grocery, grocery? shop. Yes. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. I knew you were gonna. The De Niro's that. movement is really aged movement when he was supposed to be young. Younger. Yeah. So the part serves no purpose mm. to use yeah. the uh, aging. The the real real De Niro. Right. They could have just used a younger, a different younger. actor. Yeah. Right. Because it's the first violence Peggy would witness. Yes. Yeah. Which is very important scene. That, I agree yeah, with you, yeah. actually. Mm. I agree with it, him. So that's the only part. Yeah. Mm. The rest, I, I was so convinced that they are in different ages. And mm. all that. Right. Mm. I, I, for, firstly, I didn't know anything about these actors, right? When I right. first watched. So I didn't... <laughs> wow! Yeah, that's how Zoomer I am. <laughs> You're I really Zoomer. In right this, you. like, genre of movies. Oh the cameraman goodness. is, like, shocked at me. Al Pacino, <laughs> yeah. <But then> <laughs> De Niro. For real, for real. I've... I've Sorry? She leaves a negative impression from Zuma. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not representative Disclaimer, of the Zoomers. You're not representative. I'm just not <laughs> very much an the example of Zuma. <laughs> but I mean, I've heard of Robert De Niro. But oh. I didn't I didn't know like yeah, that it, they did the... De- I have, I have. <laughs> I didn't know they did the de-aging thing. Ah, and see. so when I went to do research, right, I saw like that this is the scene that came under fire also. Ah. Like why... Like people made fun. I oh. see. In a sense. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. yeah, it's bad for him also, you know. <laughs> mm. yeah. I was quite surprised that they didn't pick it up. Mm. Because there's another issue with this. Al Pacino, same mm. thing, mm. right? Yes, yes. He forgot that mm. he was supposed to be 40 or 50 something. Mm-hmm. Was it the standing up one? Yeah, somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, somebody, oh, everybody was like, okay, good cut, blah, blah, blah. And then somebody said, uh, actually, you're supposed to be 40 something. Your movement is... 70 mm. something which is his pre- present age right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they have to redo and reshot until they are satisfied that <clears> yeah that's uh, uh, what do you call that Jimmy Hoffa at mm. 40 plus age but so I to stand up yeah well, for like, thing 70 mm. what because uh, probably yeah. he did his his Pacino thing lah, right a bit mm. diva stand up a bit yeah. gale gale yeah, what, yeah. Right? but you are correct when he was building up the fella he looks a bit mm. slow and yeah, you yeah. know mm, old mm, mm, yeah old. building up yeah. <laughs> right Mm. Yeah, so that was a bit but jarring. I, I felt a bit detached on that scene. Mm. But oh. soon enough, I, I got into the story again. Yeah, I get what you mean. Mm. But like, at the same time, I feel like these scenes add some form of virtue, some sense of virtue. To it. Like, there, There's some virtue in there because I feel like this entire movie is already about like that that aging and like it's all about looking back on memories, Yes, right? yeah. Yes, and it's narration. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's a story monologue. told by an old man. Yeah, yeah monologue. So mm. you, in a sense, you could think of it as them recalling it also, right? Yeah, But yeah, yeah. maybe perhaps like only remembering their frail bodies in a sense. I don't know. I interpret it as that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like memory, that's, right? It's a bit chim. <laughs> I don't know. I thought <laughs> yeah. maybe it's me giving them excuse la, for right, missing right. that scene out. But, yeah. you know, it's interesting when they decided to use this technology instead of just using younger actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it may that, pave yeah. the way mm. forward, moving forward. Yep, yep. Pe- more directors wanting to use this technology mm, mm, mm. rather than, mm. you know, using young actors yeah. or different actors to portray it. Mm. Right? I was quite surprised. I mean, I was reading a, a review, like, it, it's not original thought, but uh, Scorsese had this issue a oh, long time ago when in Godfather... Mm-hmm. No, oh, wait a minute. Scorsese wasn't Godfather. No. Uh, the Palmer. Ford Coppola. Ford Coppola, sorry. Yeah. So Ford Coppola actually used uh, De Niro mm. as a young Corleone. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep, yep. And then uh, to to do the, the, the old Corleone, of course, is... Uh, uh, Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's where De Niro made his name, sort mm. of. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. When he was doing the young uh, the gun, Marlon Brando. Gunfire on the jacket, then he ah. just... Wipe yes, off, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And so, that was an accident. Which? Oh, you haven't watched Godfather, yeah, right? Okay, no spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so talk, yeah, so so again, uh, 
touching on the genre, talk, talk, talking on God, uh, Godfather, this mafia genre, if you look at Scorsese, the director, his mm. past movies, the, the big ones, right? Casino and, and Goodfellas, these mm. two mm. similar similar genre, but much shorter. Mm. And uh, again, not much effects mm. on, 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 or techniques mm. that, he, that he used, yep. yeah. especially uh, Goodfellas. It's mm. just storytelling, mm. also narration, good, yep. uh, Goodfellas, right? Mm. So you, you can really tell that he's, <laughs> he's a damn good movie uh, maker. Like. He's, mm. he's a good storyteller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also his framing, like especially how Hopper was assassinated by Silan. Ah. That yeah. frame is so perfect. You can just frame it up and put it on the wall. You what know? do you mean by the, that? Man? Yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful. It's like... A, do you mean like the one from inside the house? Yeah, and just come in and silhouette. Then bang, that's it. Right, he turned, you know? right? The yeah, guy yeah, turned, yeah. opened right. So Let's we can't get really tell if Hopper knew mm, who, that he who was, was mm -mm. killing him. But he didn't see anyone in the house, right? No. So yeah. he probably knew. No, he knew that it, they were it set was, up. Yeah, but they didn't. Yeah. He, he he doesn't know that it's gonna be Frank Sheeran's gonna yeah. shoot, oh. shoot yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he knows true, that it's gonna true. set up. He, uh, that's why he said we gotta go. Yeah, right. Yeah. When mm. when it is what it is, it's good that he didn't know. I mm. think. Yeah. But if anything, I felt quite shocked that he had to be the one to kill him. Mm. But then I thought about it after. I was like, it makes okay, sense. Okay, why why do you think that it In has to film, be him? No, I was shocked that it has to be him. I thought it didn't have to be him. Like they didn't yeah. have to put him through that. It's a bit to show the royalty, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. but I, the cruelty of this sort of the, the mafia reality is correct. Like, you can't. I read somewhere that if they don't make him do it, mm -hmm. he, he would might be risk. He, he yeah. would foil the plan. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh, he would foil the plan. Yeah, yeah. That's why Joe Pesci said you got to do it. Yeah, yeah. And part of, another reason is because uh, they were somehow implicated in the situation yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're too. Pelly Pelly with uh, Jimmy Hoffa. Mm. Right. So the, the 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 mob, right? It's either you or them. Right. right? That's why right. Joe Pesci said in the in the in the prison, right? I chose us. I mm. chose you over him. Was it mm. a ring or something that the given ring. by, by yeah, yeah. Hop Russ. Tom Hopper, right? Russ. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's another mob, three of them. Uh, yeah, mob yeah. guy. So, yeah. so yeah. only three guys mm. yeah. to to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But after watching I was like, yeah, it, it really had to be him. For yeah, the movie's sake also. It's unfortunate for, that it has to be him, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 So the the thing about about the Irishman that sticks out, right? I watched it and I thought, oh, it's nice and good. Then I thought, hey, wait a minute, he's Irish. How come he's speaking Italian <laughs> mm. to Joe Pesci's character? Mm. <laughs> yeah. And 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 in Mafia world, mm. right? You can only be one of them if you are an Italian. Ah. Or you're Sicilian. Mm -mm -mm. Right? Yes, yes, yes. That is why the, the ring is such a big thing. It's yes. such a big, you know, really big thing for mm. him to, to get the ring. From outsider mm. to Insider. part of the family. Yeah. 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 I guess one of the reasons why was because he is able to speak the language as well. Mm. Mm. That's right. why you're considered inside. Yeah, one of mm. the first few scenes, right? How can you speak Italian? Yeah, so do you know why? I also dig up, how come this guy can I speak? Know. <laughs> so he's Irish man, Italian yeah. kind of thing, so right? What's French the background? Apparently, because he was in the war. So he was based in Italy. Oh, mm. right, right. So he was, he spent time there a lot, probably with it's, other Italian soldiers. Oh, they, they actually war, said yeah, yeah. that, right, in the movie. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. always saying that you're in the war, right? Mm. In the war is in the war. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's how uh, he developed that callousness towards killing people. Right, no right, more feeling. Right, right. Because he came back from the war and he killed mm. uh, yeah. people. Which is kind of interesting that um, De Niro is doing that. Uh, the so long from taxi driver mm. back from Vietnam guy who became taxi again driver. right mm. yeah yeah mm. so yeah but if you see De Niro in those roles that you mentioned you can see the anger the violence mm. that can right. erupt at any right, time right. I don't see that I don't feel that in this movie right right do you think it's because of age or what lack of better word. He's a pathetic old man. You know? right, I feel right. sorry. I feel sorry, sorry for, for him. him. Yeah, same. Especially same. because Peggy left him. Mm. You know, and all he wanted to feel was like part of family, but his family is broken. Mm. You know, yeah. So yeah, and yeah. Yeah, that's why the end scene felt so poignant, right? 
the mm. door open. Yeah, yeah, and I read somewhere about the door open also. It's supposed to somewhat mirror that one scene where, remember, um, Jimmy, mm-hmm. Jimmy Hoffa, right? Jimmy Hoffa. He was sleeping in the suite, but then mm-hmm. he didn't want to close his door. Oh, that's yeah, his, that's keep, his habit. Yeah. Yep. That is Jimmy's He's gotta habit. Be yeah. aware of like enemies coming yeah, in and whatnot. That's, that's Hoffa's habit. Yeah. Just like they have little quirks like this, right? And this era, la, supposedly, mm. la, these gangsters, right? Like in Godfather, I think the Don Corleone or something, mm. he always faces the door when he sits. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right, so, right, yeah, right. so then, you know, it's for the survival, la, basically, mm. right? And yeah. then Jimmy Hoffa sleeps with the, the door ajar. But kind of I'm also thing. wondering if it says something about how lonely they are, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. Like, by opening and like sort of connecting your room to um Frank's room, it feels mm. as if he needed that company. Also because he says Frank is like family, right? Mm. And then at the end also, when he leaves the door open ajar and he kind of like looks through it. Wow, mm. I felt like he was waiting yeah. for someone to mm. come. Right, right. Yeah, you, know? yeah. you, can, yeah, yeah. you can, can say that. Yeah. yeah. But the thing about this Irish man that sets it apart from your typical uh, gangster genre, and I think Scorsese also mentioned it in one of your interviews. He said, he doesn't want to be really redoing all his violent uh, no, mm-hmm. gangster. I see, I see. I don't feel the violence in this movie. Yeah. Uh, I... Do you? I... Except for that one beating scene mm. in the when you mentioned mm. uh, after Peggy got pushed in, mm. in that grocery store. Mm. I don't remember any other scene where, you know, there's violence really in your face. Mm. Even the killings was just like pang, pang. And yeah, yeah, something's yeah, yeah. done off camera as well. Yes, you can only hear yes. the, 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 the sound. Mm. And then him throwing all the different <laughs> pistols yeah, yeah, and in guns the river. into <laughs> the river, yeah. right? To indicate that he, has, he did kill a lot of people. Yeah. Mm. But other than that... Yeah, I, it's... I don't know if it's because it, it low-key reminded me of the West Anderson, the Grand Budapest. Like, from mm-hmm. the way... I can't quite pinpoint, but the way these scenes were also shot. Like, you know, like some... There was, there's this one shot where it just goes right onto the face of the person who just got shot right outside the door. And it felt very like too too gory to be real. Oh, a bit really like the, ah, okay. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, that mm. sort of West innocent type of like low-key abstract kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is so in the face like, that it's not violent. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. The, the, the end effect, right? Then, mm. thing, then one <laughs> your face yeah, yeah, in the, yeah. the bullet in the face. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then I was like, okay, that doesn't feel very violent anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. And how does this Link to Irishman. <laughs> no, like the Irishman scene, la, the sh- the shot. That's why she said she it's doesn't like very, feel yeah. there's much violence in the movie. Right, although right. the topic yeah. is, mm. you know, a uh, uh, mafia gangster movie. It's, yeah. it's not very visual. La. It's not visual. Yeah. Mm. But if what's it, happening is, you know, like, yeah, yeah much more death than in Top Gun Maverick. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true. But if you compare this to the other mafia movies, it's nothing. Like yeah, you know, in yeah, really. in in uh in God in Goodfellas, Joe Pesci, he mm-hmm. was in there. Mm-hmm. He was stabbing somebody with yeah. a pen, <laughs> and that scene was is a Whoa. is an iconic scene, yep. right? And just because somebody laughed at him and he's, yeah. you think I'm funny, you yeah. think I'm oh. funny, yeah. and it became a, a, a iconic and line. High pitched voice and the short, you know, like, yes, yeah, that. The contrast of violence and his feature is so uh, outstanding and like gives us a strong mm. impression. Yeah, mm. yeah, correct. If big man is doing violence, yeah, you expect it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true, true. So in this movie, I feel it is, it is more of I don't know, like maybe reading too much into it, but mm. <laughs> Scorsese and De Niro, mm. they've been like doing movies forever, yes. right, together. Yes. And they they are more they are famous for again, mobster genre, mm, right? Yes. And and uh, Scorsese is already like at the end of his not end, but he's really mm. quite old. De Niro is really quite old. Pacino mm. is really quite old. So with them doing this movie is like a narration mm. of their career. <laughs> in oh yes, thing, yes, yes, right from the young mm. and this and this and that yep, and yep, yep. Uh, slowly yeah, deliberately. It's almost like a documentary. It is right. You yeah. felt like yeah. it is right. Because it did, it young did, him to you know like yeah and it, it, it yeah. touched on certain era of the American history mm. Mm. Yes. and they are part of it yeah they yeah. went through the yeah. timeline sort yeah, of yeah. right <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true it's like a documentary mm. yep. it's an old man documentary <laughs> and this old man is narrating and he's mm. like very slow just like an old yep. man mm. would tell you mm. you know very deliberate the finale yeah. sort of thing and and did, and we did can, it start with the close up on the ring what the what movie it? yeah. I remember they started off with going it's, into it's the like nursing this, right? home. It's like this, right? A different color, but 
like this. And... Was it? No, the, 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 it started out with... The frame, right? Yeah. Moving into the nursing home. The I following, remember this. Then, the tracking then, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then yeah. ends by him close up, right? Yeah, I think yes, so. Yeah. And was I, it like this? I think it was, there, it there went might like be that. a... Yeah, mm. it might be. I, I can't mm. remember that exactly. Mm. But yeah. yes, it's true. It's the nursing home tracking effect yeah. that they did. In, yeah. And then stop, boom. Yeah. I, I remember this scene very clearly because a very stupid thing. I feel like the, the frame, right? It was like a film-like um, frame, right? And then it was slanted. Oh, really? So I was very, very like, like ticked off by that. I was like, why is it slanted? But yeah, I don't know whether it was on purpose. Do y'all remember? The I very can't, opening can't, scene. Yeah. I, it was like this and going into the nursing home. I was like, why can't it? Why can't it straighten it? <laughs> okay, you can watch it later. But yeah. And in the end part, they, they redo the scene, right? They, yes. They, they yes. do the tracking thing again. Yep, yep. Uh, oh, yeah. Before he sleeps and then he opens the door. Yeah, right, the right, same right, thing, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like, okay, we're coming to an end and mm. to, to, to the show. Mm. Okay, anything <laughs> else? Do you guys consider this to be like his final, so this is his final like mobster film? Feels I'm like not it. surprised if it is. Yeah, it feels yeah. like it actually. Because like, for me, it feels like this is like all the previous movies he has done with uh, Robert De Niro and all the mobster movies. Right? It feels like a love letter to mobster film. Ooh, <laughs> that's so interesting. And homage. Uh. Yeah, and homage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, true. I'm not, yeah. You can actually have like scenes from Godfather in this movie, right? <laughs> and you know, you don't, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> no, because you mentioned that it was like from different eras. Yep. So it's like a beginning to the end. It's like a closure to his. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the end of his uh, career. Probably, yeah. It is probably going to be his last mobster movie. But you never know, right? You yeah, never know. you never you know. know. You never know with these yeah. kind of uh, people. You know, they, they get good projects and... Mm. Inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And, and probably they're going to use... Uh, Robert, not Robert De Niro, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, another one. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. Hey, he's. You know how he got uh, uh, what do you call that? Introduced to Scorsese. Mm -hmm. He has acted in some Scorsese's films, by the oh. way, right? Shutter Island. Mm, yes, yes. yes. Uh, it's a fantastic movie, mm. Shutter Island, and I think uh, Gangs of New York. Oh yes, right. De Niro is the one who told Scorsese mm -hmm. that hey, you might want to use him or something like that, mm -hmm. but. Oh. Yeah, he's he's being credited for introducing yeah. this. I think two. I think he's only misfortunate when he was young, uh, for yes. DiCaprio. He he looked too good. Yeah, oh. <laughs> actually, he can act very well, very but well. Yeah. people discount on good-looking actors. Right, you know right. Yeah, for you know for their yeah Titanic. Oh yes, that's right. Titanic, yeah. right? But he yep. was pretty good there, right? No? He was good before that. What's yep. eating Gilbert Grape? Uh. Very good movie, young, uh, what do you call that? Leonardo DiCaprio acting very well. And then he went into this Titanic and, mm. you know, become this pretty it. boy. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. When he becomes sensationalized, mm. like, people very have a lot for to him say. To, to shake off. Right, yeah, right, that, right. Big image. hit means no film goer will go. That means, uh, you know, oh, yeah, right, right, yeah, right. reputation spoiled. <laughs> yeah, it took, I think, quite a while for him to, yes. you know. Yes. He started taking other characters and I wonder totally he, different... he purposely gained his weight. <laughs> Maybe. To change the yeah, look, right? Yeah. Get, not be typecasted, yeah, you know? Yeah. But I can see him being a mobster somehow. <laughs> mm. I, you know, he has that quiet yet violent mm. right, right. just like uh, Andy Garcia has. Right, right? Right, right, oh man, yeah. don't talk about Andy Garcia. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, he's also another good looking guy, but but he was lucky that he wasn't associated with good looking. Yeah, but for uh, his acting right, from right. the from the very early stage, yeah, untouchables, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. And funny thing is, he's 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 kind of, you know he's supposed to be an Italian in that movie, but he's actually Cuban. Oh, he is. Yeah, oh. He's, he's Cuban by descent. Okay, okay. okay going back to Irish man. There's, Come, back to Irish there's Irish. one <laughs> thing I want to talk about quickly okay, please. for Irish man. Please. So I found it very like, I was just thinking about it just now. Then I realized that the the current like um what do you call what's the word for it like the actual like um time of non flashback like mm, okay. mm -hmm. of the film right they were mm -hmm. supposed to go for a wedding right and ah. then the, the, the entire thing got scrapped like they it's so funny that they were supposed to go for the wedding but yes. what they dealt with in the entire film was the in betweens 
Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I found that like very quite quirky actually. It's like a road film. journey film. Yeah, yeah. Like a road trip. Like we're gonna yeah. go here, and then they, I love how the scene always goes to the map. And we're gonna trace this, mm. that, this, that, and yeah. they're always going the in between, doing the don't know what <laughs> mafia money, nonsense. Money. Yeah, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then in the end, you never see anything about the wedding. The wedding that there is right in the end uh, mm. is the uh, that lawyer's daughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, Played by uh, Raymond Romano. Everybody loves Ray. That, that oh. guy. Uh, that's his daughter who's, who's getting married. So in the end, they did go to, to the wedding in the church. I think mm-hmm. there's a slow mo kind of uh, scene. Why do I know you very Yeah, there is. But again, nothing much on that part. Yeah. But what happened in between? Yeah, right? exactly. Right? Well, yeah. what was the the scene of the the wedding card and then the blood stain getting on it? Like we don't yes. know who. I don't know who what was, was killed. That was in one of the very earlier parts of the film, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's well, the significance of that film, that part. Anyway, speaking of the Ross show, right? Mm. Uh, I mean, these uh, youngsters, I'm sure they have a lot of money and all that. Right. Mm. But uh, their wives looks more <laughs> enjoying their life, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, smoking yeah. all the way and yeah. like celebrity lifestyle, yeah. but. I guess that's the contrast, you know, like at the end of the day, uh, Chiran is really, yeah, I, I use very harsh word, pathetic, but, uh, you know, like he looks so sad and like, yeah. yeah, you know, like he did mm. all the money he has, you know, he didn't get anything at, yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. And he's in the old folks home alone mm. and he's so happy to speak to interviewer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and yeah. and the even the church the, the mm. father oh right, my gosh, right. like, actually he all the while if you if you notice right there's an FBI guy that keeps on asking him right mm. so tell us what happened yeah all, oh, all right, right, the rest right. are dead Frank mm. you're the only one who left yeah. Yeah. up uh, until that point he hasn't opened up his stories yet yeah yeah only to this interview for, right. for this mm. book that like, is really mm. before he he dies kind of thing lah like. where some people are questioning is it. Uh, him in a way, you know, just want to get his fifteen minutes of fame before he dies, mm, mm, you know, because nobody can verify. All mm, are dead, yeah, right? So yeah. nobody can verify his story. But really, when, when you you keep on bringing this pathetic <laughs> old man, which is quite true, mm. yeah, you don't feel that they are gangsters. The yeah, whole yeah, trip, yeah. Right? yeah, they're just like talking and then uh, Joe Pesci like sleeping, uh, <laughs> yeah. open mouth, yeah. and then they get. Scolded by the wives <laughs> all the time. Yeah, you know, the wives always like, like I'm controlling them. Yeah, I want to smoke. I want to smoke. Ah, yeah. like me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel that they are like gangsters, mm. right? The way they speak to each other, very slow. And then, oh, okay, this part I wrote down actually. And and the way little things that they, they argue about. Mm-hmm. Do you remember uh, Hoffa mm-hmm. fighting with the, the other guy? Uh yeah. What's his the, name? The bigger uh, guy, right? The bigger size guy, right? No, no, the Paul. short one. The short one. Pete. Is it Paul? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh. Paul <laughs> P-O something. Pause for no idea. The the Hawaiian shirt one, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the biggest thing he got pissed off because the guy was late. Yeah. And they were talking about 15 minutes yeah. or yeah, 10 minutes, yeah. right? Yeah. 10 minutes. No. You gotta put in traffic. Yeah. 10 minutes is with traffic. You know, 15 minutes is, you know. <laughs> And then they were fighting. Mm. They actually got into a fist fight yeah. because of that. And then again, another time was like, you're wearing shorts. You wear <laughs> shorts to a meeting. You wear this to a meeting. You know? yep. <laughs> so, yeah, it was very trivial. Comical or comedy aspect mm. to the show that mm. really right. removes the violence mm. behind you know, what is intended. Mm. But I'm also wondering, it's like, uh, okay, on one hand, you can say it's like, they're not like glamorizing mm. like yeah, mafia yeah. work, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I'm wondering if, like, making them so human is also a bit of an issue. It makes you desensitize, you know, to the the violence that they actually enact. Yeah, right? true, true. But mm. then again, when you think about it, you say pathetic old man, then you're like, right, he's kind of pathetic in a sense, <laughs> right? Then it makes you think like, okay, like... But this guy killed... He kind of, maybe he deserved this life la, for yeah. killing mm-hmm, so many mm-hmm. people. Yeah, and yeah. then Joe Pesci's character, even in the prison... Mm. I mean, it's no remorse, right? Except that he's yeah, just going to yeah. church now, yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. But that time when I see Joe Pesci and him eating bread, I was like, oh my. Oh, I felt so yeah, bad. Yeah. I got no was teeth, right? Choke on it. It. No teeth. Like, yeah, can't yeah. eat, and yep. they just suck on it. Yep. Yeah. Then really, really, really show that, you know, the time has elapsed mm. Mm. when they were just meet up during the heydays of mm. Joe Pesci, right? Mm. Uh, in the, in the, the era, eating the things, speaking Italian, kind mm. of thing. 
Well, was that when they stopped the de-aging technology? Is that how they actually look? I think so. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Mm. That's crazy. They, they didn't do aging, right? <laughs> they do de-aging. Right? Yeah, so, so they, they really do, went yeah. to the... That means they're so old, that was, they're 70s, yeah. and then they go... Oh, no, 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 but they must have done aging because... The interview shot of De Niro. Uh, he doesn't look that. No, he doesn't look yeah. that old. <laughs> yeah. Joe Pesci isn't, oh, isn't that old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they really look very old. Like, yeah, yeah. He looks so frail. So, so they did aging as well. Yeah. Oh, okay, but okay. maybe that's, that is by makeup, maybe. Yeah, yeah. that's more the makeup yeah. than anything. Probably mm. could do, yeah. Mm. The, I, I think he probably wore a bald cap. That's the receiving <laughs> hairline. Yeah, I, I took note of that. Oh yeah, Taxi Driver's Mohawk was a, was a wig. Wow, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Very well know. done. Yeah. Because uh, De Niro had something else to shoot after which mm. so he couldn't just shave it off oh. yeah right, right right but okay uh we we kind of like probably coming to an end of this i just want to get your reactions on the overall acting of these mm. supposedly big stars mm -hmm. right do, do you think that the acting carried the film yeah yeah definitely i i would say so yeah. mm. which of the big stars there you think like did the best best performance De Niro, Pacino, Joe Pesci. I like Joe Pesci. He, he, he how do I say? He, he has the most contrasting younger age and ah, on the okay. mm. on the car, the the journey. Mm. He's so old man and the, yeah, in the prison yeah, also. Yeah, you yeah. can really feel it, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. And that is not only by the de aging technology, but his acting, acting right? Yeah. Mm. Oh. You know that he kind of like came up from retirement to do yes, this movie. Yes, yes, oh. yes. He doesn't want to do any other movies yeah. except for this one. Yeah. And they talk to him, hey, come on, we gotta do this, yeah, we gotta yeah. do this, we gotta do this. He okay, come on, okay, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I I I would say I like his character more, Russ. I find it so interesting that he can be this influential. You know, ah. the way word spreads. And it's so interesting that you don't necessarily see much of his power actually yes, being correct. enforced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you feel it. Like yeah. everyone knows him. He's like the one who pulls the Yeah, pulls the string. True, right? That's it, right? You're you're connected, you're with me. Nobody touches you. Right? Yeah. He, he, he told Frank, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After he gave the ring, right? Mm. Nobody touches you. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting because he's an Irish guy. He's out of the fa uh, of the family and mm. yet he is holding that high position in, mm. in, in the organization. Mm. Yeah. To me it has to again Joe Pesci as well. No, oh, okay. Yeah, because wow. for for De Niro is too obvious, lah, right? The mm. the main character. But yeah. like you yeah. said, he's acting even when he's young, mm. he looks sluggish. Yeah. He looks yeah, old. Yeah. I mean, sorry not much, for not him, much but variation, yeah, yeah. Yeah. right? It's the compared, way he walks, yeah. maybe that he wants to show that yeah, that's how I walk from when I'm young, when I'm mm. old, but doesn't really see that difference. Mm. But yeah. yes, Joe Pesci when he's in the mm. in the car sleeping. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the voice, the voice changed also quite. Well, quite right. Yeah, and then when he was young, it is what it is. Hey, oh, Frank, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I found it strange that he kept calling a uh, De Niro kid when oh, yeah. he did yeah. not look that much younger. I think they could have done a bit more de aging. To him. Yeah, true. Yeah, he felt but quite old. In fact, they are supposed to be that age gap is supposed to be like the father and the son mm. kind of age. Yeah, gap. didn't really yeah. feel exactly like that or yeah. didn't look like that. Pacino is Pacino. Lah, huh? You expect him to carry mm. off that yeah, character yeah. Mm. like that. Lah. That's Pacino mm. doing yeah. Pacino. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy yeah. Hoffa, like... Uh, <laughs> kind of he reminds me of Nathan. It's my, it's my union, Frank. <laughs> no, no, it's my union. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. What, what are they going to do? Well, you know, they... But, but he's, he's, how do I say, last time, movie stars were like that. Mm. They don't put their foot in different shoes, but they are just being them and their superstars. Uh, you know, oh. yeah. So he's one of the last of old. such kind uh, okay. actor. Old, okay, yeah. old school. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, now you know, like, um, uh, people who gain weight and do like Christian Bale. Ah, you know, yes, yes. It's it's more De Niro style, right? Yes. Yeah, but Pacino was not that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so he so doesn't he really go into the character. Mm. He doesn't change body weight, body shape, yeah, yeah. right? He just do. Yeah. So, uh, I had this. Uh, I read this story, which is quite interesting to me. Mm. Uh, one day, young Robert De Niro was running around the studio. Mm. Then, uh, the studio is big studio, but 
next to each other, there are a few studios, right? In the in a big studio. Right. Yeah. Mm. So next studio had this uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins. Oh. Uh, sitting and having a tea. Mm. Then uh, he waved at uh, De Niro to say, "Hey, young chap, what are you doing?" So then you went like, oh, the next scene is uh, I'm a cop and I, I, I just chase and catch this uh, uh, criminal. So, so I'm uh, doing, you know, preparation for that. Oh. Then, the, the, then the Sir Anthony Hopkins went, thank God I can act. Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> so it's the oh. contrast of the traditional acting method and the De Niro approach. Mm. Right, yeah, right. So, which one do you prefer? I think, I think both works when it works. It works, <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. But yeah, De Niro, when he was younger, mm. he really goes to extremes. Mm. Meta right? acting. Yes. La. Uh, Cape Fear. Cape Fear, Whoa, yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. You got to watch Cape Fear. Yeah. Go okay. Google Cape it's Fear. Good watch. Piece. Yeah. That's like, to me, the... He was so scary. De Niro at his peak, <laughs> yeah. right? That taxi driver, that's yeah. when he, when he yeah. peaked. La. I mean, taxi driver was when it's early, but you yeah. know what yeah. I mean, right? This mm. performance mm. Is, it, yeah. is, is really there. I had new actors like uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, mm -hmm. right? We also hear how he, in the, the movie, The Boxer, he trained so mm. hard mm. that his coach says, this guy can actually go and compete as a boxer. <laughs> But right? they, they do say that there are dangers of this sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, of course. And of like course. right now, uh, they especially are... Especially Christian Bale. Christian yeah. Bale, right? Yeah. He lost weight yeah. for one movie. We can't I, even recognize I what's him. I want him to take care of himself because I, yeah. like, I like him. So yeah, I want Physically, it's not good bad, for the though. system. Right? Mentally, mm. emotionally. Putting also. on yeah, weight. And, yeah, putting on weight and, and losing weight is just a physical part, right? Yeah. But your, your mental... Yeah. I mean, what's his name? Joker? Is it Joker? Uh, the one who acted Joker? Heath. That's Heath. Someone... He, he ledger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. died because yeah, yeah. of meta acting. Like, he was so mm. into Is it because of that? It was... We I mean, don't know. Was, yeah, we okay, don't know the yeah. truth. But, sort of. But some but say, yeah. yeah, some yeah. say, yeah. Mm. Carried on in the... Yeah. Dark, Emotional the, the trauma, dark, I would say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, they say he was locking himself up for like two weeks mm. just mm. to get into the character. Which is like torturing your man. Mental, you know? that's mental. Yeah. That's yeah. mental yeah. illness. Yeah. Uh, these yeah. days, it's called yeah. mental health. You <laughs> gotta be checked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we 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 talk quite a bit. Yes. Mm. Yes. On the Irish, um, so it's a recommended film. Very much. But we really be ready for the three hours. If you have three hours and oh, but that's the beauty of Netflix. You can stop anytime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. True. True. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in, and that's it for BBZ. Zaijian. Selamat jalan. Selamat jalan. Selamat jalan. I always don't know what Malay. Orang yang selamat jalan. Selamat tinggal, right? <laughs>